You want to get into the tech field, but you don't want to go to college or you don't have any experience. Well, I have a solution for you. CompTIA A+, Net+, and Set+, are all beginner certs that will get your foot in the door. Well, let's talk about all three of those certs, starting with A+. Now, A+, in America, can net you a median salary around $40,000 to $55,000. A+, pretty much covers any hardware or software dealing with printers, PCs, laptops, scanners, fax machines, any other type of hardware or software dealing with computer devices. With this cert, you usually can get any type of entry-level IT support job. It's usually help desk jobs like desktop support, IT support, computer repair person, which are all good entry-level jobs if you want to get experience and further your career in the IT field. Now let's talk about Net Plus or Network Plus. This job can usually net you around in America 60K to 80K on average. Just like the name of the cert, this cert pretty much goes over anything dealing with networking such as network infrastructure, network troubleshooting, network security, and all the above with networking. Now this one is a little more advanced than A+, because unlike A+, where you're learning basic hardware and software, Net+, you need to know how to configure networks completely. There's a lot of terminology you need to learn, and you need to know how to configure a firewall, multi-layer switch, router, any type of networking software you need to know how to use. If you do manage to get that cert, you can get jobs like network support specialist, network admin, network analyst, any of those type of jobs you can get, and they usually pay really good. But last but not least, we have Sec+. Plus. I'm not gonna lie, Sec Plus is probably the hardest of the three, and I felt it my first time taking that test, but it was worth it in the end. So with a Sec Plus cert, the median salary in America is 60 to 80K. And this cert pretty much combines A Plus and Net Plus together with a bunch of cybersecurity information. What mainly gets people on this one is there's a lot of terminology dealing with this one, mainly dealing with cybersecurity information. You need to know the different type of attacks and you need to know the different type of vulnerabilities and security systems. Like look at all the terminology that you need to know and this is just the first chapter. But if you do manage to get it, you can get jobs like system admin, security engineer, security administrator, and it's usually a good stepping stone to get a career started in cybersecurity. But that's all I have for those three. I'm gonna start a playlist up of certs that I have and tell you why they're good to get. And if you have any certs that you want me to talk about, leave them in the comments and I'll do a video on them. If you're not following me already, follow. I do videos like this all the time.